Hello everyone, I am Nora on Now Now Now. Today I'm here with Bobby Phillip and his dad Mr. Phillip. Also his dear friend Alicia is here with us today. As you remember, Bobby Phillip turned invisible. We are here to talk about his story. Come on out guys. Thank you guys for coming. Which one of you is wearing a floating hat? Is that really you, Bobby? Bobby, I understand that one morning you woke up and you couldn't see yourself. That must have shocked you. We all can't wait to hear about your story. So, Bobby, tell us about your story. Let me answer your first question. I'm wearing a floating hat so that I won't spoil what happens at the end of the book. Next, to answer your other question, I'm just an average normal boy and then one day I woke up and I was invisible. It was very hard at first, but then I got used to it. So, Mr. Phil, when you first saw Bobby, what was your reaction? Well, as everyone knows, I'm a scientist. As soon as I realized Bobby was invisible, I went to work to trying to figure out the cause of why he was invisible, as well as the cure. I also got some help from Alicia's dad. He was a great help. Alicia, how did you and Bobby meet? I was at the library, and we just had a rough start. Like what? So, well, before I knew that he was invisible, he was helping me cross the street. All of a sudden, a little kid kid came by us so fast that Bobby pulled me over and I felt his ribcage. Do you mind if I take it from here? No. Sure. She had thought that I was some kind of creep not wearing a shirt. It was kind of weird not wearing a shirt. So I tried to tell her that I was invisible, but she didn't believe me. So a man came out of Starbucks. I held her hand with her cane. She said when he comes across the street, squeeze my hand. So I did. She asked if the boy was taller than her. He explained that there was no one there. That's how she figured out I was invisible. So, Mr. Phillip, how did you guys figure out how to get Bobby back to normal? Well, I had found out that Alicia's dad was a scientist like me. So I went to work into trying to figure out what was wrong with him. It took a lot of time and effort to figure it out. However, I did not figure it out. Then who did? I owe it all to my dear son, Bobby. Thanks. You, you are welcome. So Alicia, were you and Bobby a little more closer because you both were kind of the same thing? A little bit. We were not the same. He could see and I could. However, we were still very close and I think that we made a great team. Well, that's it folks. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Bobby's story, read Things Not Seen by Andrew Clements.